Hi, everybody. Welcome. I have some exciting information I want to share with you. New astrologers incorporate this into their work. I find it extremely valuable, especially as a powerful predictive tool. It's the progressed moon. Why is it so important? Well, most of you will have heard of Saturn Returns. Oh, I'm coming up to my Saturn return. It's my first one. It's my second one. Oh, yeah, there's, there's a lot that is spoken and shared about the Saturn energy. And that cycle is about 28 to 29 years. And it's ruled by the sign of Capricorn. And it rules the top of your chart, the midheaven. Now, the moon is the underbelly of your chart. And the progressed moon, which is the aspect I want to talk about today, also, like Saturn, ruled by the opposite sign Cancer, the moon energy, has a 28 to 29 year cycle. It's extremely important. Every two and a half years, you will go through a different progressed moon cycle. And over this 28 to 29 year period, you will experience every single sign. So you get a real opportunity to feel each sign on a more emotional gut level. It's very different than the Saturn return. So this energy that you're working with every two and a half years has a flavor. I mean, for example, it's very valuable to know where your progress moon is now. For example, mine recently went into Libra. Now, I don't I think you've all commented on this. Oh, Bracha, you're suddenly wearing lipstick. And I got myself an eyebrow pencil as well. And oh, you've got bangs suddenly. Libra suddenly went into Libra. And there's a shift into beauty, wanting to look more beautiful, wanting the house to look a little more beautiful, softening things. And this just happened as that progress move went into Libra. Let me give you an example of a very good friend of mine. She's had her progress moon in Aries. It's just about to go into Taurus. So she's, she's on, in the process of moving home. And she's been throwing things out and giving them away and, you know, just moving things on, moving the energy. She just rang me, let me know. She said, um, you know what? She said, I don't think I'm going to throw all those things out or give them away. Some of them are very nice and I might need them at a future date. So I'm going to get a storage unit. Taurus, I'm going to hang on to the stuff. I'm not just going to willy nilly give it away. This is good quality, Taurus. So when that progress moon changes sign or changes house or makes an aspect to one of your natal planets, you're going to see possibly major changes in your life. It will influence the kinds of people that you are likely to draw to you during that two and a half year period. It might be transiting your fifth house. You might conceive a child. You might conceive a new business. I've seen many a confirmed bachelor get married when the progress moon transits the seventh house. These are really valuable, important things to be aware of and to know. And very importantly is with relationships. I have found time and again that if a relationship is going to last, the date of that meeting or that contact and where the progress moons are relating to one another of both parties, whether it's a business or a romance or a marriage, whatever it is, 
you, you can look at those aspects and if they're making certain significant aspects, chances are it's going to be a long lived relationships relationship. And if there is nothing much going on, chances are it's just going to come and go. Would you like to learn a little more about this? Well, I'm very excited to tell you that I'm going to be doing a webinar all about it. We'll look into it in, in much more depth, into where your progress moon is now, how you can calculate when it's going to change, which parts of the chart are most strongly affected, your relationships, the signs, the houses. The details are in the comments box or they'll be on my website very shortly. And I do hope you'll join me because uh, this is such an incredibly easy aspect to learn in many ways. It's easy to grasp if you've just got some of the basics of astrology. You'll be able to pick it up quickly and you'll be able to get the flavor of somebody's transitions and directions really quickly for yourself, for the direction that you want to go in your life, for your relationships. It covers everything, just like the Saturn return does. The, the difference is that the progressed moon is really sensitive. And the change of a degree every month can, can really just set off a whole series of events. And the more cognizant you are of the energies that are coming up in your chart, and also maybe of those who are close to you, the more you can use this productively, proactively, efficiently, and positively. So that's my news. I hope you'll join me. I will share some more little snippets about the progress moon here and there on free videos. But if you want to go deep, join me on the webinar. Bye for now.